All right, it's super late, but I kind of want to just give a quick, uh, maybe one take video on what's going on with Zombunity Mud. Uh, so it's coming along nicely. I've taken a step back. I'm paying down some technical debt. I need to get the uh, unit tests done. And so I've put in some unit tests that test all a lot of the um, daemons. And as I started doing that, I didn't want to have to have the database running uh, in order to do tests. So I put in a data layer, a data interface layer. So I have this data namespace, which just has multi-methods that dispatch out to uh, different uh, methods, functions, and uh, one of them is in, uh, you can set up test data, so there's these mock uh, data stores that, uh, like this uh, login one just uses a map. And then now, just today, tonight, I put in some uh, live database tests, so I can just test that the uh, JDBC calls are going through and the JSON is being translated and whatnot. I've also gone through and created uh, some uh, deployment scripts. So I have some Linux deployment scripts. So now on Linux, all you have to do is type in start and it will do everything. It'll load up the database, uh, compile the, the uh, closure script to JavaScript, do all that. The only thing it won't do is it'll start a, a REPL for the MUD server, but you have to type in um, the uh, the main function for zombunity.dispatch. So that's it. Other than that, it all runs by itself. I've got a uh, start uh, or DB tests or something, a batch file to run the database and run the uh, uh, live database tests. So it's coming along quite nicely. And uh, I should be able to get uh, on to uh, getting the GUI working with different GUI events. So yeah, there we go. Successful one take update on Zompunity Mud.